morning everyone it is saturday actually got to sleep in today could have slept a little longer it's 11 o'clock and i'm actually about to go out and return cheyenne got some blinds for her room and they're too small so i'm gonna go return those and then i got a vacuum cleaner last night that really wasn't picking up anything and it sucked or should i say it didn't suck because it didn't pick up anything anyway so i'm gonna go return that and get another one different brand and then i'm gonna go get the steam cleaner to clean my floors so yeah busy day today gonna be productive and then once everything is done i'll show you guys the decorations that i got for my room because i'm really excited and even though it's not a lot oh you're going even though it's not a lot good morning savannah um little things just help spruce up a room so i'm back home we're back home so that it came with me i rented the rug doctor i'll show you guys so i just went to bel air and i got that and i also got the solution that you can put in it i guess she was telling me because this is the first time i've done this i know it is cold she said that most people use water but i think my carpets they're going to need some kind of chemical to um just to help get it clean and i also got this pre-treatment that i'm going to use because we have areas that are just need a little bit extra so this is my first time doing this you guys so hopefully it'll work out and when i looked at the video it looks pretty easy to use so what i'm gonna do is before i clean the carpet i'm going to clean my room put my clothes away and then i am going to do the floors oh my word y'all you hear that noise savannah's doing her room i just did my room with the carpet cleaner and that was a lot of work that's why i'm sweating and cheyenne thinks it did a wonderful job i'm still going to call the professional cleaners to get it done they always say i'm never satisfied with stuff what okay so anyway yeah i'm still going to call the professionals to come do it i mean it's good for what I need it done, but it's still not up to my standards. Ooh, it's bright. The way the sun is shining. I have this tiny little window above my mirror in my bathroom. And this time of day, it's just really bright in my room. So anyway, um, I actually did call a professional um, carpet cleaner to come out. They're gonna come out November 6th, which is a Monday, cause I'm off on Mondays now to get my carpet clean and I wanted them to come today but they said number one it's busy and they were going to try to squeeze me in tomorrow because I'm like I just want to get it done because it's I made it worse actually guys I made it worse there's like dirt streaks and he told me so many times that um they get calls from people that use the rug doctor and it made it worse so yeah what they don't tell you with the rug doctor is that it's meant for light stains not nothing that's heavily stained carpet and i don't know when the last time this carpet was clean i've never cleaned it since i've been in here and it was just time so anyway yes i'm getting professionals to come out i feel mad i'm mad at myself at least i know because i wasted 56 dollars because it was 30 dollars to rent the machine and then i had to buy the solution so yeah i just wasted my money so anyway, let me show you guys this window above. There's a reason why it's so bright. Yeah, this time of day, it gets so bright and it shines over here. So I don't think I finished telling you guys. You guys know I get off on one tangent and go on another. Anyway, so the guy said the reason why they couldn't squeeze me in tomorrow is because they technically could have, but the floor is still wet and the chemical, the solution that I used could interact with theirs and make it worse so he said it's best to let the floor completely dry and then they can come in and clean it all right you guys one guess where we are so we're having dinner at ikea and we didn't come here just for dinner i came actually to get some decorations for my for my room and possibly possibly the living room so let me show you guys what we got i got the salmon dinner Cheyenne got cordon bleu. Tariq got the same thing I got. And Savannah got chicken tenders. And they went to get something to drink. <gasps> I can't take them nowhere. Oh my you gonna break them in. I hear cracking. Get out of there. Oh. That's as much as it would close down. 
Cause you too fat. I bet if I was a different angle, I could. <laughs> Did you have fun in there? No. He seemed to have fun in there, though. He was little. He could fit in there. I'm little. I could fit in there. It's cracking. <laughs> it's cracking? Okay, so they were just fighting like they were fencing with the wrapping paper and when I pulled the camera out they stopped. Okay, so remember the picture frame that I got? I'm actually going to paint it and all I use is the same paint that I use for my bathroom cabinets. So Shine is actually going to paint one coat for me and then I'm going to finish the rest. And I want to show you guys something. I got some new decorations for my living room. Okay. So these pillows are new right here. And I don't know if I'll keep them or well, keep the orange ones there. The orange ones are kind of like old and flat. So eventually I'm going to just find some prettier ones to go there. So that's pillow is new. That's new and that's new. And I got to throw even though it's not on perfectly right now. Um, we were sitting on it earlier. So that's the reason why it looks like that. So that's new. And then over here, do you guys remember the pillows I had on my couch? I just put them over here and I got this little decoration set from Ikea today. I got that from Home Goods flameless candle and I'm gonna get something else to put in the front here just because we don't use our fireplace you guys so might as well make it nice and this I used to have right here so I just removed this I had a old stereo there I'm giving it to Goodwill because we don't use it at all so I just put that up there and it looks a whole lot better and yeah Cheyenne let's put this pillow on I mean this throw on better okay <laughs> so I still think something is missing and you guys know I am do too much when it comes to decorations because I will just overcrowd it but I want some small pillows two small pillows right there one there and one there just to I don't know throw things together so what do you guys think I think that's a good look all right you guys so I got new lamps for my room I got these from home goods these were expensive and it kind of hurt my heart, but they match my room. Let me get it up close so you guys can see. I know it kind of looks blue on the camera, but it's really like a grayish blue. It looks really good in my room. It goes well. And then this right here, I got this from Home Goods, um, but I've got it. I've had it a while. I just never showed you guys because I wanted to show you guys how everything was set up. I don't know what you call it, but my kids call it the gray pokey thing. But yeah, and I have the bulbs here because the bulbs that came in the lamps, I had, I got two. I changed them because it was very dim. And of course, Ray Dunn is spilling out into my room. And look at these candles, you guys. It's flameless candles. And I'm not going to touch it because every time I do, the glitter gets on my hand. I'm trying to move this out the way. It's gray and white. Let me get an up close of it. It's really cute. But I know this has to be, I have to like rearrange this. You guys know I like off symmetry looks, so I was thinking about putting it on that end or that end, but I don't know, Cheyenne was just like, put it in the center, but I don't know. So that's that side. And here's the other side. And I put my picture up higher because with the lamp, it was down lower and you wouldn't have been able to see it. So. Anyway, so this is the other side and I have my other pokey thing <laughs> right there. If you guys know where these are called, leave me a comment below. Let me see. Yeah, I don't know. I just think it's cute. Decorative stuff for your bedroom. That's what I'm gonna call it. And I got another candle for this side and I gotta find a better place to keep my laptop because it's just not attractive right here. So yeah, you guys, and this is where I keep my pillows when, when my bed's not fixed. And I actually got another white pillow that's in that container, right? Container in that bag right there. And yeah, I have another picture that I'm gonna put there, you guys. And then I need to get something for up there. I don't know if I showed you guys this picture yet. So I got this from Ikea and I put it right there and that's the perfect place for it. 
So you guys, these lamps that I got, I'm really in love with them. I love, love, love them. But every time I look at them, my heart hurts, my stomach hurts because this is the most money I've spent on a lamp. But it was pretty. I've searched all over Amazon, um, Overstock. I've searched all over for lamps that I thought would look right in my room that were inexpensive. I've seen some that were okay, but you know, you want to get something that you really like. I didn't want to get anything in in like two months be like, eh, I don't want that. But when I seen these, you guys, I just fell in love with. It looks so good in my room. So that's why I got it. So good morning, everyone. It is Sunday. Look at this. I woke up like this. And this is why I'm having coffee in this mug right here. <laughs> Even though I, I think the meaning I woke up like this has something to do with you looking beautiful in the mornings. I don't know, whatever. But this is truly how I wake up in the morning. So this is how I woke up. Anyway, it's Sunday and getting ready for church. I already have my clothes in the dryer. Um, for those of you that don't know, my new subscribers, thank you for your support. I see you there, but um, we don't iron our clothes. And at this point, I don't even own an iron because my brother, when he came for Tyreek's graduation, he used to iron and burned the hole <laughs> in the blanket that he was using and the iron had a bunch of like stuff on it that I didn't, that I couldn't get off, that I didn't even want to try to get off. So, and I had to iron for like 20 years probably. <laughs> Goes to show you how we don't iron. I, I had to iron for 20 years, yes. Anyway, so threw that away and just never bought another one. And so, yes, anyway, I said all that to say my clothes are in the dryer and yeah, just sitting here having my coffee. I just woke everyone up and gonna start getting ready soon. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to fix my bed today because those of you who didn't know also, I don't make my bed on a daily basis. I only fix my bed if someone's coming over because my motto is you're gonna get back in it anyway. And I know some people feel differently, but whatever, that's how I feel. But anyway, I just wanted to fix my bed to see how it would look with everything my new lamps and my new pokey things, as my kids say. And I know that picture is very lonely up there, but I have another one that, you know, I'm gonna put up when the frame dries. So yeah, you guys, I'm loving it. And this pillow right here, it's new. Let me show you guys, it's really pretty. And it has like little sparkles in it. I don't know if you're able to see it on the camera but anyway yeah i got that from home goods that was actually i think about 16 dollars so yeah addition to my bed i think it looks pretty good you guys so yeah i'm excited how my room is turning out and i know it looks really lonely right here i'm gonna put that picture up when it dries today but yeah i'm thinking i don't know y'all because <laughs> I'm queen do too much when it comes to decorations. So after I put that picture up there, I'm thinking I should put something in the middle, but probably not. Um, if I do, it's gonna be something decorative, not another picture frame. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Or maybe I should let you see how the picture looks there first so you guys can get an idea and let me know. So yeah. Okay, you guys, see that empty space there? Now that the lamp that I had, the standing floor lamp, is gone, that's looking pretty empty. <laughs> Remember the $300 plant that I showed you guys from Z Gallery? Uh, yeah, that will look absolutely wonderful right there and bring out so much of the white in my room. Hey, Savannah. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm talking to myself. No, I'm talking to our friends. Looks cute. Are you wearing a jacket over it? Do I have to? Do you have to? No, it looks cute. Just make sure those are covered yeah. your straps. Yeah. Okay, I'm just messing up everything. Alright. Don't want to drop this camera because Lord knows I'm not in a position to buy another one right now. So this is what I'm wearing for church today. Nothing to dress up or fancy because it's cold outside so I want to stay warm. But I don't know what to wear on my feet. I don't want to wear heels so I may just wear boots. Yeah, boots will look okay with this. 
All right. But I don't want to wear my high heel boots because I have a pair of leather heel boots. Okay, so according to the weather app, it's supposed to get up to 75 today. So it's probably not in my best interest to wear boots. So, yeah. So, you guys, <laughs> decided to change my whole outfit because if it's going to be 75 degrees, then I don't want to have big old hot sweater and all that on. So, I think I'm trying to jump ahead to winter and when it's just fall. So, anyway, this is what I'm wearing to church today and I guess I will wear heels. So, it's much later in the afternoon. <laughs> you just stick your tongue out? That you did? No, I don't know. Anyway, it's much later in the afternoon and just dropped Tyreek off to work. Shine is at home. She didn't want to come. Savannah and I are actually going to Home Goods in the Arden area. Um, I'm not area. I'm not looking for Ray Dunn. I'm just looking for different decorations for my house. Since I'm in that type of mood, and I was gonna say something to you guys, and I don't remember. I don't know. What was I gonna say? Come on, jump in my mind. If you don't know. I miss her riding in the car with me in the morning. I miss you. Don't you miss me? I told her, that's just rude. I told her, I said, you look good in pink. And I knew what she was going to say. She said, I know. And I said, I knew you was going to say that. So we see more pictures of our puppy today, you guys. And a video. And he definitely has blue eyes. And I don't know if that's going to change. I hope it stays blue. I don't know. So my uncle was just like showing pictures of all the puppies. And this one is this. This one is that. And if he got to ours, he said, and this one, he's a good boy. And I'm like, yes, ours is the good boy. Yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait. He's so cute. But we still don't know what his name is gonna be. My battery's gonna die. <laughs> My girls are so silly. Without seeing, right? They have me listen to Christmas music. You just say, remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. It's October. All right, everyone. It is late. It is eleven o'clock. I am sitting here and I'm uploading a vlog and then I'm gonna go to bed. Tyke has a doctor's appointment in the morning to get his cast off and hopefully there's no broken bones. I don't know, it's just a weird thing. They said it could take up to six weeks. First they told me 10 to 14 days before they see a fracture. Then when they went in, they said, oh, we don't see a fracture. It could take up to six weeks. I don't know, whatever the case may be. He's getting the case, the case? He's getting the cast taken off tomorrow and another x-ray and hopefully he can just be in a brace he said it feels a whole lot better and so we'll see we'll go from there i will talk to you guys later thanks for watching and give this video a thumbs up hit the bell so you can be notified when i upload i know i have not been uploading very often shame on me i know but anyway talk to you guys next time